Some people or institutions are never able to catch a break. Just about when the Catholic Church was ready to start its conclave to elect a new pope, the only representative that was going to participate in this conclave for the United Kingdom, Cardinal Keith O'Brien, has resigned after being accused and later on he himself admitting of sexual misconduct for making sexual advancements to some priests. This Cardinal O'Brien have previously angered the gay community with his hardline public stance against homosexuality. He was named Bigot of the Year and recently said that same-sex marriages will be harmful to the physical, mental and spiritual well-being of those involved and has non-voiced opposition to gay adoption. So again in here it is repeated that those that oppose so fervently gay behavior are themselves gay. And particularly in the Catholic Church, it seems that a gay man usually chose to serve in this church as a punishment or purgatory for being gay themselves. Some kind of a redemption on a guilty trip. But they can only fool themselves for a certain amount of time. After a while, they have to go with nature and admit or accept the reality of being gay. And this is why the behavior of the Catholic Church against gay rights is so hypocritical, because many of them are gay. But let's go back to the Pope controversy. Now Britain does not have a representative in the conclave that will elect the Pope, so basically the Catholic Church of Great Britain won't have a say into electing a new Pope. The conclave that starts this week will be composed of 117 cardinals from 50 countries. Those who are eligible to vote, they are so-called cardinal electors. The largest voting groups are from Italy with 28 electors, the United States with 11, Brazil and Germany with 6 each, and Spain with 5. In all Europe we have 61 electors, or more than half of the total, and North and South America have another 33. The remaining cardinals from Africa, Asia and Oceania will bring only 23 votes combined. So who are the favorites? On a previous video I made, I mentioned Peter Thompson from Ghana. He will be the first black pope, but let us mention those that are in a very good political position to get the papacy. The first three are Italians. Cardinal Angelo Scola from Milan, Cardinal Malquillet from the Congregations of Vicious, and Cardinal Angelo Banasco from Chinoa. Regarding to Cardinal Scola, which is 71 years old, he is highly esteemed by the living pontiff. So we believe that if Joseph Rasinger will have something to do with this election. Cardinal Scola has a very good chance to be elected Pope. So, despite this latest scandal, the Catholic Church will elect this Pope. And the first priority that this new Pope most likely will have to deal is with the sexual scandal actually going on and do some damage control in the hopes of improving public perception of the Church. For that major reason, among other little ones, I predict that the Catholic Church will elect a non-Italian Pope and the most convenient of all non-Italian Cardinals for the purpose of this election is the Cardinal of Sao Paulo, Odilio Pedro Scherer. And I have an additional sarcastic reason for selecting this Cardinal as a good candidate for the Pope and it is that his second name is Pedro and you know that previously I have made a video talking about this crazy conspiracy theory on Catholics and some evangelicals that the next Pope will be the end of the Catholic Church and the name of that Pope will be Pedro or Peter. Whatever the reason, if there is my experience within the Catholic Church, the signs being read on Vatican politics and the convenience of the media moment that they are having. I do think that the conclave will elect the Cardinal from Sao Paulo as the next Pope. Let's hope that he chooses a really funny name 
for his papacy. Maybe something like Anacletus, Adeodatus, Telesphorus, Liberius would be a good one, but Pinto will be my preferred one. That will give us a lot to laugh about for the next couple of years. Either way, the Vatican is in deep shit this time, and it will take something short of a miracle to take them out of the hole they dug themselves in. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>